These two figures standing guard indicated where the entrance to the burial chamber must be. So on February 17, 1923, Carter began tearing down the wall that separated the antechamber from the mummy of the pharaoh. When the opening was large enough, Carter was able to peek through and spy a wall of gold. This later turned out to be a golden shrine. Between the shrine and the chamber walls, there was just enough room to squeeze through. When Carter opened the doors of the first shrine, there was a second shrine inside. And inside of that, a third shrine. And inside of that, yet another. But inside the doors of the fourth shrine, there lay a stone sarcophagus. Inside, they found a heavy, stunningly gilded coffin. And it turned out that it concealed two more coffins. The innermost coffin weighed about 225 pounds and was made of solid gold. It was here that the king's mummy had been laid to rest. The third chamber was the treasury, and here we're able to see what's inside. Like a silent guardian, the black jackal-headed god Anubis sits atop a gilded shrine mounted on a sledge and keeps watch over the treasury of King Tutankhamun, a duty he performed very well for over 3,000 years. He is the mysterious protector god and keeps watch over the body of the deceased and keeps them from coming to any harm. Behind the god Anubis is a bust of the heavenly cow. To the left lay several magnificent chests of ebony decorated with gold and ivory. These concealed precious jewelry. Behind me, Carter discovered a whole fleet of model ships stacked on these black chests. These were special sun and moon barges for the journey across the sky and also boats for traversing the Nile. These little black shrines contained gilded deities and royal figures, but the chamber also contained hundreds of everyday objects that would serve the young pharaoh well in the afterlife. Clothing, small pieces of furniture, musical instruments, board games, tools, weapons, and even cosmetics. But for Howard Carter, the man who discovered the tomb, one of the finest pieces of all was the gilded canopic shrine of the king. Four graceful goddesses protect it. And here we're able to see what's inside. This beautiful chest of alabaster. When Carter lifted off the lid, he found this. Four beautifully crafted king's heads, each made of alabaster. Inside the heads, below the heads, he found this. These miniature coffins, each of which contained the embalmed organs of the king. The liver, the lungs, the stomach and intestines, which he would also need for his continued existence in the afterlife.